I'm not sure who needs to hear this message. But the devil, he don't want you to move forward in the things of God. He don't want you walking on the plan that God has set out for you. If the devil can't stop you, his job is to distract you. So he try to oppress you, suppress you, and depress you to make you park on the side of the highway instead of going 100 miles an hour for God. And many people, they on the sideline, or if you would, the side of the highway, out of gas, because they feel discouraged and burned down. But listen to me, I came to encourage you today and remind you of what the word of God clearly tells us. See, the word of God, to me, in my opinion, it's like a vitamin, right? And, and see, if you ever take a, a, a butter knife or a regular knife and you cut open a vitamin or a capsule, you'll realize it's been encapsulated. Meaning, boy, when you cut that thing open, it got all kind of powders in there, all mixed all up. The word of God, to me, is like that vitamin. Ooh, it got hope, joy, I'm talking about everything. And I need it every day of my life. Because Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19, it says, <laughs> it says we have the hope as an anchor for our soul. Listen to me. I, I really need you to focus in on this. We have hope as an anchor for our soul. You got to have hope. Because Hebrews chapter 11, uh, uh, verse 1 it says, uh, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So watch this. If you don't have hope, then your faith has nothing to give substance to. Because what it is, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And we and listen to me. We got the hope. You got to have some hope. It says the hope is an anchor for our soul, meaning you need it. And I'll leave you with this right here. Have you ever went out on a big giant ship way in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, yeah, nay. You ain't never been out there, all right? <laughs> well, look, if you are way out in the middle of the ocean in a ship and it starts to get windy and your ship is rocking a little bit, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of stress kind of kicking in. I got a question for you. What is the most important part of a ship? Oh, I'm about to be at a red light and I can look at you. This is the, hey, I'm trying, hey, this is going to change your life. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to think about it. <laughs> What's the most important part of the ship? I'm at a red light now. It's about to get real. The most important part of a ship is the anchor. Because see, when you drop your anchor, you're steadfast and immovable. It don't matter what type of wind blow. It don't matter what's going on. You drop that anchor and see the... Uh, and I wish I had the time to tell you all about an anchor, but I try to keep it short. When you the anchor is heavy, it drops all the way down to the bottom. It's immovable. It's rock solid. So the wind may blow the ship a little bit, but guess what? It, it, it can't take it past a certain point because of the anchor is dropped. And I'm here today to tell you in this world, you got to drop your anchor somewhere. You got to drop your anchor in Jesus. Because when you drop your anchor in Jesus, boy, you can't be moved. The Bible says in this world you will face tribulation, but be of good cheer. I've already overcame the world. So Jesus already put on flesh. He knew what you would be dealing with. He's all he's already conquered it. When the enemy tried to uh, 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 tip Jesus at Jesus' lowest point, when Jesus fasted 40 days, what, what, what the devil told him? <laughs> if you got all power, turn these stones into bread. Jesus said it's written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So Jesus shows us, right? He walked as an end sample and an example for me and you in everyday life, telling me basically, Demarcus, when the enemy try to tempt you, when the enemy try to, you know, sway you and try to discourage you, this ain't a regular fight. This is a spiritual fight that you win through my example with the word of God. Jesus says, it is written. He spoke that word at that boy. So what you think I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm speaking the word. I'm out. Hebrews, it is written. Let me try, let me try to say something to me. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19. It is written. I have this hope as an anchor for my soul. And Jesus, boy, the enemy take off running enemy take off running i always had hope even when i was in elementary school and i used to have to take speech classes 
because I used to stutter over my words. I used to have to stomp my foot to get my first word out. I remember it like it was yesterday. This little dude used to come to my class. Well, not a little dude, my bad. This, this man used to come to my class. He didn't knock on the door. He didn't go in there and call my name. He was respectful. You know, he didn't want to embarrass me. He used to look through the little panel of glass and do this right here to me. And I would already know, okay, it's time for me to slip out and go to speak. He didn't want to embarrass you. Before, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we used to go to his office and he used to re, he he used to uh, give me to read these these tricky words, you know, to work on my speech. He, I remember he used to say six slithering snails slid across the grass like he used to be these S words, you know what I'm saying? But I always had hope. He used to always say, Demarcus, you're going to get it. Ooh. And when I used to stutter in class and somebody laugh and make fun of me, I would tell them. But look, but listen, I was standing on his report. I would say, but, 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 but. But my speech therapist say, I'm going to get it. And I was standing on it. I wasn't standing on the reality. I was standing on the hope that I had in the person uh, 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 who's instructing me and who I believed in. That speech therapist, boy. And I'm here today to tell you, <laughs> you, got to, you, you, got to, you got to speak what Jesus is telling you. You got the hope. <laughs> boy, I'm so pumped up today. You got the Oh, let hope be an anchor for your soul. When I put my phone on the window to record these things, this thing right here is my anchor. Boy, when I stick this thing on the glass, it ain't coming off. It's the anchor. Everybody need to be held down by something. Now the question then becomes, what is you going to be held by today, fam? You, you being held up by your money? Oh, all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You being held up. I mean, what, 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 what you being held? The approval of others? People going to fail you. People are human. You're going to lose money. Go for, you're going to lose money, gain money, whatever. But boy, the one thing you can't get back in this world is time. So time spent with God is never time wasted. Drop your anchor in him and live for him. All right? I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words, my anchor is in Jesus. Because that's right. You stay fast and movable because your anchor is in Jesus. And watch this right here. No matter who it separates you from or identifies you with, always choose to go with Jesus. Because you can't lose when you go with Jesus. I love you so much. I'm at a red light, by the way. I'll see you in the next video.